taking a look at um, another reaction. So, right in our Mount Carbonyl, we have acid chlorides, we have anhydrides, we have carboxylic acids and esters, and we have amides. Um, so here we have an anhydride reacting with a secondary amine. So what will this form? So one of the biggest things, you should be able to look at star materials or look at products and say, oh, this could have came from that, right? Be able to recognize the reactions in such a way that you can not just know the mechanism or have to do the mechanism to figure out the answer. You should be able to look at this and be like, oh, boom, this is going to make what? An amide. Right. You should look at this right away and be like, oh, that's an anhydride, that's an amine, that's going to go down the mountain, that's going to be a downhill process, I'm going to make an amide. All right? You should look at that and know that right away. So that's the product. That's one of the products. It's not the only product. That's the, but you should be able to look at this and be like, oh, boom, I know what this is going to make. Because we're reacting in hydride, which is pretty reactive, good leaving group, right? Nucleophilic acyl substitution. That's going to be our electrophile, the carbon of one of the carbons of the anhydride. So it doesn't matter which one we pick of the carbon of the carbonyls. But the amine is going to be my nucleophile. So this would be considered basic, acidic, or neutral conditions. Neutral, neutral right? It's neutral. There's no charges to start. All right? There's no negative charges, like a basic conditions. There's no or no strong nucleophile like in basic conditions, and there's no H plus like acidic conditions. Right, so when I say acidic and basic, I mean charged. We're definitely gonna have charges here, but overall we don't have a charge. So the first step is gonna be an addition step. Should we balance our charges. We form a tetrahedral intermediate. Tetrahedral intermediate, we ask ourselves, what's my best, is there, what's, is there a leaving group and what's the best leaving group? What's the best leaving group right now? The thing we just added, right? That's the best leaving group. Well, that doesn't help us. That makes us go back to where we started. So that, we gotta do something, we gotta do something before we do an elimination. So what do we need to do? We need to do a proton transfer. So we're going to put that proton on the O minus because that's the most electron rich place. So now we have a tetrahedral intermediate. Intermediate. Now we want to look for our best leaving group. So what's our best leaving group now? So we have three choices. We have a carbon, an oxygen, and nitrogen. Straight up periodic table question, electronegativity question. Oxygen, right? Electrons come down, do that elimination. Not only is it an oxygen, it's also an oxygen is going to have what kind of else kind of stabilization is going to go on here? Resonance. That's right. Elimination. Plus charge on the oxygen. What have we made? We made a carboxylate. Balance our charge. Last step would be just to do a deprotonation. That gets us our final amide product. And then the other product here would be a carboxylic acid. Good.